now okay now i'm getting started it's uh, so so how to get python python is pre installed on most uh, unix machine right you see here now let me quickly go here and then in my terminal this is my linux machine guys i'll not be able to see your question for now i'll not be using this okay if you say python See this? It's 2.7.5, right? It's it it comes with Python. You know, Linux machine. All Linux machine comes with uh, you know Python pre-installed on it. The the pre-installed version is 2.x. In my case, it is 2.7.5. Here, okay. Let me increase the font size so that you are able to see it properly. It's it's the same thing, okay? is the same thing you do it with putty or you do go and do it in terminal it's the same thing you see you do python version and then you can get the version please refer the detailed installation guide available in lms coming here getting help in python python um, interpreter has a built in function called help object the this function is intended for interactive use which uh, invokes the help system to use the function type help or the help object right you can do all those things uh, here if you go if you say you know python you are inside python right it's as simple as that and then if you say help you see it says type help for interactive help or help object so you get all this information let's say for example i say help for right? you get all the it's it's similar to manual pages right you get all as to what you need to do so that's what it's it's saying here or if if you were if you are in uh, let's say for example windows you can just say python and help this will also work python can okay no such file directory python see this uh, this is uh, help uh, welcome if this is your first program you go to this docs and it, it will give you all those uh, problems so you you can you can use it for no python documentation font for help for so basically if you you use it for anything i mean use it on windows use it on linux you know the wherever you are comfortable just use it there and uh, this are few of the examples that that you can run now getting help in python documentation now uh, there is a command called pydoc right which you can use to get documentation Py pydoc is a documentation module for python which gets installed with any python distribution so if you here okay if you say file okay not here just give me a second I'm logging to another screen. You see this? If you do a PyDoc four, but you should not be doing that inside your your Python. This one, okay? Few of the steps, you know, PyDoc like you saw, right? You just type PyDoc and then say for. See here, you know, that that's how you will get everything here. The the syntax, the statement as to what it does, etc., etc. PyDoc allow programmer to access Python's documentation, generate HTML files, HTML pages with documentation specifics, and find the appropriate module for a particular job. PyDoc can be accessed from module specific GUI with Python interpreter or from command line cell. Right here, this is how. Here, if you see this, the for statement is used for uh, to iterate over elements. Uh, it, it gives an explanation as well as syntax. You know, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of information that is available here. You see this. There's an example as well. Okay, so that's that's why PyDoc is used for. Or you or you can. There's another way. Or you can just say. Here. Help, and then you get the same thing as well. So these are just two different ways. Python IDE IDE. We all know what an IDE is. Uh, we'll be mostly using uh, you know PyCharm here, and uh, 
uh, guys, uh, if you do not have PyCharm, please install PyCharm. This is the most preferred one. It is, you know, you'll be able to use it uh, very easily. Yes, uh, Vishnu, that's that's the email ID. Or support at edureka.in. Please mail it to support at edureka.in and copy me, Balram at edureka.in. So, so PySum is the most you know the most used uh, ID for Python. So please use PyCharm. It will be easier to program. Yeah, you know, this is how PyCharm looks like. You can just say new project, give a name and then untitle whatever. Oh. You know, you, you just get this. Okay. This is PyCharm. This is how it looks like. File new. And I can say a Python file test.python and then you have it. Okay, Arun says why are we using VM? Can we install Python on Windows and try using some? So that we, be, uh, you know, I can, I can explain everything in Windows, but then finally, you know, when you start seeing Hadoop, you, you know, you might get confused. So we, we wanted to maintain the consistency across. So here it goes, the ID we'll be using is PyCharm, right? You just saw my PyCharm here. I can just open. Okay, fine. Here, let me go to the next slide. Python ID, now you can download it. Okay, this is uh, easy, right? You can just go ahead and download from wherever you want to. Okay, to start Python, all you need to do is type Python in, on your command. Right, the, this is again uh, in in my putty. Quit. Okay, all I did was I I wrote Python and then I'm inside my Python cell. Okay, uh, type Python into your terminal or command line after a short message. You know, you you get this, and then you can say print, and then you write your first program. Hello world, right? You have it here. So here you see I've written my first program. But I'm not into my PyCharm as yet because I would want to cover the basic stuff in uh, you know the uh, this itself uh, you know putty itself or maybe terminal itself. These are the basic stuff that I would want to because PyCharm can be used for programming, you know, the more complex programming, you know, you can import the packages and then, uh, you know, when you click on dot, dot package, you'll, you'll get all the list of uh, available classes inside it. So it's it's more like, uh, you know, closer to Java. You, know, you get the look and feel of uh, Java here. So using the in addition, to being a programming language, Python is also an interpreter. The interpreter reads other Python programs and commands and executes them, right? You can see here, print hello world, right? And then you can also have, uh, you know, quantity stored in an, uh, in memory are not displayed by default. You can store values something like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and when you say x, it will give you 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And also if you just say, let's, let's do this, okay? You will see how powerful Python is. Okay, x equal to. Okay, I think not. Let's uh, five, six, seven, eight. You see this now? You see this? You know everything here. Or let's say for example, for that matter, y equal to. Okay, that. Uh, some name. Mark. You just do Y mark. M. You see this? This is an array and list in itself, right? This is a list in itself. Now this is a list, x equal to five six seven eight, and then when you do x, it gives you all the values here. Okay. And if you do x one or x zero for that matter you get 6, 0 and, and the first index. Everything is indexed like I told you, right? This is the 0th uh, value, first value, second value and third value. Now if you do x of 0 or 1, you get these values from here. And 
Likewise, even in string, now this is number, so you can say that, okay, fine, this is number and which is separated by commas, so okay, you can understand that. But look at this example, when I say y equal to mark, it is a string here in this case, and when I say, when I just print y, it gives me the value, but when I print y of 0, it is m, if I say y of 1, right, it is a, so on and so forth. Now, everything is uh, a list here, okay. Everything is a list here, you know, starting from a string to number to anything, you know, that, that, that's, a, that's a list in Python. 